Depression. Get a coffee and get off your arse. It's not real, it's a myth. Please, someone show me where this invisible illness is. So I'm here with Sam, who's recently lost his friend to suicide. Joseph. Sam, how do you think you're capable of this? There seems to be a huge increase in suicide. I've been told he's been found dead earlier this evening. In I couldn't be there for him. So who exactly is supposed to be back in here? So many people. I just don't get it. We never had these problems in my day. Back to the good old days, you know, when men were men. I mean, it really is. There's some amazing There's more awareness than ever before, but where's the funding? You could be waiting on a helpline for 10 plus minutes. They're underfunded and oversubscribed. I understand, but I think when you step back from those economic and political factors, we as siblings, parents, friends, teachers, colleagues, and peers, we need to ask ourselves. Why are we killing ourselves? Why? Because we are afraid to talk. Little do we know that just talking to someone is the bravest notion a man or woman can take. Now, tell me about yourself. No. Brilliant. I mean, inspiring. Class, mate, class. Thank you. I've been practicing. I wasn't talking about your shitty little speech, I was telling you about me. <laughs> the name's Dom, by the way. Hi, Dom. My name's Troy. Troy Swift. Troy Swift. Is your mum Taylor Swift? Big man, does he look like my mum's Taylor Swift? Name's Caden. Um, you already knew that. How about you tell me what they told you already? I'll pick up from there. Well, it says here you're incredibly intelligent for someone of your age. Incorrect. I'm just incredibly intelligent. You've had a rough time in foster care. Four houses between the ages of six and 16. Three houses. Three houses, one garden shed, one car boot, if that counts towards some kind of housing record. They tell you anything else? Only that this was going to be incredibly difficult. Yeah, well, they did get one thing right. So do you think it may be beneficial to talk about what happened? No. Well, you can't ignore it forever. No. No, but I can try. Well, Dom, you must have arranged these meetings for a reason. Why waste it? No, 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 no. I haven't arranged anything. Wasn't my decision. You, um, you got a wife and kids? Not right now, no. Here's some life saving advice, don't do it. Because all they do is they nag, and they moan, and they nag, and they moan, and they nag, and they moan, and in the end, you end up going, shut the fuck up, Denise! I'll go and see a shriek. Get off my back. See, Jade, usually I don't insist on people staying to talk to me. But on this occasion, your teacher has sent you here on the terms of you staying in that school. Because my teacher is an ancient fossil who doesn't know the first thing about me. Is that why you decided to throw the door rug at his head and storm out of class? No. I was trying to recreate Aladdin. Clearly he wasn't my Prince Charming. There's no Prince Charming in Aladdin. It's Aladdin. Sorry, counsellor. Next time I'll throw my bloody shoe at him. Jade, you can waste our sessions trying to outsmart me. Or you could be cooperative. Talk to me about your absolute arsehole of a chemistry teacher. Why you hate him so much. Where it started. When it started. Where on his body you'd throw the first punch. Doesn't that sound like a much better plan? Biology. He's a biology teacher. You didn't listen to anything I just said, did you? And I don't like the way he looks at me. Or the way he sticks his fat ass in my face when he's talking to the person next to me. Yes, come on. And his breath smells like shit. Yes, his breath smells like shit. Do you have any friends you can regularly see after work? Relieve some heat? Have some fun, maybe? Yeah, I had a friend. He was the CEO. And he made a massive mistake. And then he was stupid enough to tell the one person who wanted his job more than anyone else in the world. Me. So long, old friend. Don't judge me. You've got to do what you've got to do, you know, for your family. 
That's all right, Dom. I don't judge. I'm only joking. I couldn't give a monkey's about your two bob's worth. In a way, it was an act of kindness, you know, because I saved him from a lifetime of misery on the firm. And in return, I've got a wrist that's shinier than the Star of David. <laughs> got it? So me being a lone ranger, everyone's a winner. Apart from the man left with no friends. They took one of my G's, I gotta take one of theirs, simple. An eye for an eye, a nose for a nose. This redemption arc, is that what you want? Yes. No, is that what you want? Yes. What about you though, big man? What do you want? Funny that, I've had a lot of people take the piss out of me. Shut up, man, it's a simple question, just answer it. Okay, um... On file, there are many reports of you behaving badly, distracting others, arguing with the teacher. Does that sound right? Misunderstood. How's that then? Firstly, I don't distract others. They're distracted by me. Difference. Secondly, I don't argue with my teachers. I engage in disagreements with them that isn't well received due to their superiority complex. I don't understand everything that's said, yet it's always me that they seem to want an answer from. So yes, on the odd occasion, it's highly likely that I do put my back up and give them a little lip, but it's not me trying to argue with them. Would you say you get anxious under pressure? Yeah. Yeah, I get so anxious. I get more anxious than a ginger kid on adoption day. It's not like I want to be there anyways. I never get a good night's sleep. I've always got a tummy ache. And even when I do try, it's like trying to get somewhere running on a treadmill. It's the absolute last thing I need is some Oxbridge twat making me feel on edge. Well, you shouldn't feel so on edge. And you most certainly shouldn't get any form of physical discomfort from it. I think I know what's wrong. I can definitely help you. Caden, I want to know how you're settling in. New town, new family. I know it can be hard. Foster, family. Why do you care? Because social services told you to. Paid you to. Yeah, no, mate, I ain't buying that. Listen, Mrs Joyce could be sitting right next to you. Usually during these routine appointments, are you alone, Caden? No. No. No, indeed. How well has that worked out for you? They sit next to you and put on this act you've never seen before. You don't bat an eyelid until social services come knocking. By then, the internal damage has already been done. My card for if you're ever in trouble, ever concerned or in danger. What are you doing in this man's office? I'm worried sick! You must be Mrs Joyce. Hayden, who is this man and why are you here? He's a counsellor, man. I'm doing some research for a school project. Hmm. Caden, are you alone? Your sister's waiting alone in the car. I'll be off. Hannah at the Child Protection Office. Hi, Anna. It's Chance. I need to report a case. Does it not frustrate you, though? Being in a broke boy job, not making no money. Don't you ever think to switch professions, do something different? Like, be an entrepreneur or an assassin? Not really my scene, I guess. But we're here to talk about you. What, so I can't ask you a question, bro? I mean, you can, but... I don't really know why you would. Cos where I'm from, man can't ask man nothing. You ask a man how he is, he's wondering what's wrong with you. But we all got issues, though. It's nice to know someone's dealing with what you're dealing with. I ain't got no mental health issues. But don't you think it'd be mutually beneficial if we was to both let some steam off? Mutually beneficial? Plus, I need a friend right now. I know money can't buy friends, but with the amount I'm paying you, you can at least pretend. So do your job, big man. Guess that's time then. 
yeah, time for today, but please do keep coming back. You're not alone. The more you utilise these sessions to talk to someone, the better your situation will get. OK, all right, cool. You doing anything Friday night, though? Um, I'll see myself out. I'm holding on to hope that this isn't the last time I'll be seeing you, Dom. A man like you doesn't have a lot of time to reflect. All those emotions bottled inside doesn't help anyone. So next time, Dom, I want to talk. Talk about where you sit on the spectrum. The spectrum that everyone's on, no matter how many digits your salary has in it, or how bright your watch shines. These sessions can be so useful to you, sir. Please make full use of them. Mental illness isn't the issue of having more problems than other people. A lot of the time, it's just a chemical imbalance in the brain. Consequently, you may need medication. You may just want me to help you out of a situation you should never have been in. Or you might just want to talk to someone that don't know you like that. Amen, my bro. You understood that talking to someone is the first step you need to make. Come on, though. Without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah, about that, bro. I forgot to tell you something. Tell me what. So I don't really have the money for this, like, right now. Oh, yeah, I'm still good for Friday night, though. Put your head on my shoulder. It's not about perfection, it's about representation. Let the canvas and colours portray your emotions. Are you ready? I guess. is subjective. Nice little painting you got over it. Mono, bad guy? Neither, surprisingly. A little girl. I didn't know you had kids. I don't. I didn't know you were into younger women. Funny, I didn't know you were so fascinated by art. Yeah, well, I guess there's a lot we don't know about each other, eh? Well, I was hoping we could fix that. Favourite artist? Mm, I'd have to say DJ Khaled. After what happened to your mates, aren't you worried you'll end up in the same situation? <laughs> no. I know it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna be a shock you about it, though. You can be afraid to die. I think about it sometimes. <laughs> That's because you're an Oreo. How are you? How does that make you feel? How, how does this make you feel? If I ask you, how are you? How, how, how was your day? How was your week? How did you feel you are? It's the same question! Hey, then. So it's suggested here that you have a problem with authority. What would you say to that? I think I have a problem being treated as charity work. Where are you, Dom? I'm not shouting. I'm, am I shouting? I'm not going to go back and forth. Oh, you're not going to go back and forth. No, no, you're too good for that. Fuck you! The majority of these teachers walked out of their 18 years of private education straight into the walls of Cambridge, get a first in their degree, look at all their options, they can earn a six-figure salary. I'm leaving because I wanted, not because you just said that. Not because you asked me. I was going to go anyway. And then choose to work minimum wage in a shit out area for a bunch of brass little kids just so they can have the best start in life. This is my decision. Goodbye, kid. Prick. And there are heroes. I'm going to put down... Yes. Won't you kiss me once, baby? I 
I'm sorry, that was rude. That, that was, that was rude. I'm sorry. Sit down. Okay. Man like me don't get scared. Everyone gets scared. Not me. Never? Never. All right, check this. You ever seen Get Out? All right, I've been scared once. Are you good, bro? You don't see me yourself. Yeah, sorry, man. Just a bit distracted, that's all. Distracted? With me here? Madness? No, it's not that. I just, um... haven't spoken to someone in a while. Oh, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm sure if something was wrong, someone would have contacted you. I'm not so sure. We weren't really that close. It is somebody you used to talk to about their problem? Not really, no. He wasn't really the talking type. Nevertheless, I tried. I think that's what scared him off. I think maybe he just didn't like you. You're an acquired taste. What the fuck? Where they at then, eh? Where my god kids at? You're not their godfather, Trey. Not yet. But I'm about to make them an offer they can't refuse. It's adorable, isn't it? I told you how old they are. They're not five years old. Nobody's too old for Mr. Biggins. Plus, I thought their rich uncle would have to get involved. Broke boy job ain't treating you the best, is it? I mean, government cut the funds again. 80% of my clients gone. No coming back from that. That's why you gotta choose a more financially stable job, my guy. But... I can return to my foster roots with no limitations on who I can give a happy home to. It's tough out there. You know how it is. <laughs> One sec. Hello? Jade, you know there's a reason for having a doorbell, right? You know there's also a reason behind having a lock on your door. Right, so I wanted to start by saying that I did take your advice. I approached Mr Peters with nothing but a golden heart, ready to apologise for any inconveniences from the past. And I said, well, look, I'm really sorry for that one time I accidentally on purpose punched you in the face. And he said, it's fine, you punch like a girl anyway. And I thought, well, it's 2021, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? And decided that actually I hadn't done anything wrong and he was just a wanker. So long story short, I'm not allowed to return there for sixth form, but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem because I got all A's and above. What? Jade, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thanks. No, really, I am. I spoke with your psychiatrist today and we've decided to reduce your meds. Anxiety is a cancer of the mind. You're overcoming that. It was really nice to see you again. Likewise, if you ever need me, you know where I am. Consequently, how to break into my apartment. Sean? Shimmy's got her slide on the carpet again. Oh, he's done it again. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. 
That's okay. Time to get the hoover again. Jade, meet my children, Teeny and Caden. Foster children. Hi. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> oh, it was really nice meeting you, Teeny. Caden. By chance. Thanks. Right. Uh, clean up time. Who's, who's that? Don't even think about it. Come on. I've seen all types of people in this world, all types of problems, all types of mental illnesses, all with a different solution. Don't let it boil up inside you because you believe that talking to a counsellor doesn't work. Maybe you're right. Maybe that isn't what works for you. Maybe you should just talk to a friend or a family member. Or if it isn't something you can talk out, maybe you need medication. Maybe you need rehabilitation. Maybe you need to realise your own self-worth. But that's why I'm here. That's why people like me exist. If you want that help, see someone today and tell them. It's your job to seek help. Me? I'm just a stepping stone. see these headlines all the time. Ah, oh, how sad, you say, before telling your son to... Man up, Dom. Big boys don't cry. You see a transitioning child start to develop anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder. You ask them... What could you possibly have to whine about, Dom? You don't even understand how easy you've got it. You look your mate in the eye and you tell them... Cheer up, Dom. You're killing the mood. Take problems elsewhere. Don't want to hear it, mate. Don't give me sign of it's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing. Yeah, all they want to do is talk to a friend. And all you have to do is listen. if you had another chance to stop it. Sorry, could I borrow a moment of your time? What if? Your 
through to the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. We're here to help. Your life is valuable. Dear Chance, sorry I'm four years late. I wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance at life when even I didn't want one. That number you gave me saved my life. And after a short stint in rehab, I could finally see why it was worth saving. I quit my job, I became a counsellor. I'm only joking, but I did quit my job. Full-time daddy now, and every Friday night, me and my boy watch a Disney film so he knows it's okay to cry. After the film, we sit and talk about how we felt when the lion got walloped off a cliff or Mummy Deer got gunned down. Seriously, them films, they're meant to be for kids. When you came into my life, I was depressed, drinking away my sorrows, and you knew that. That's why I never came back. Well, that, and you're also quite irritating. Very sentimental. Nonetheless, you've got a good heart, kid. Keep doing what you're doing. You're brilliant, inspiring, class, mate. Class. Dumb. <laughs>